Hello, 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 and welcome back to Reactions at Rock. I am Seth, a former radio DJ, now just a guy sending smoke signals sober. Oh, God, the puns are back. Time to fire the new writers, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, if you haven't caught on, the, the, the stupid puns are the song name opposite thing going on there. So we're actually doing Drunk Dial. Now, I have to be completely honest with you. I caught this. Uh, half while paying attention on uh, Saturday Night Live uh, a week or two ago. I was kind of just zoning out and got half of uh, the Noah Khan Live performance. So I kind of have heard the song. So I didn't want to fire up the exact same performance because that would be cheating. As you know, when I do these, I do not listen to the song ahead of time. I just fire it up and whatever happens, happens. And I give you my honest opinion. So I figured I'd dig in a little bit deeper and see where this song came from and if there was a different version. And I found Post Malone with Noah Khan doing this song live, which is apparently the debut of this song. So we're going to fire that up in just a moment. But first things first, I do want to thank some very, very special people at Skull Candy. Got the new muffs. Fantastic. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time selling you on anything there's an affiliate link down below in the comments if you're in the uh description if you want to take a peek at it go ahead and take a peek at it if you don't want to peek at it that's totally cool too but i'd prefer if you did anyway <laughs> now on to the music we're gonna check it out post malone with noah khan a live performance of dial drunk i have a special guest with me and uh this young man is one of the most talented fucking songwriters I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. And I just, um, he has an amazing song that dropped not too long ago and he was, uh, he was gracious enough to let me sing um, on a song with him. Um, if you guys know Mr. Noah Khan, please do it. That's a nice ovation. Smashing guitars. And some banjo picking. We're getting some picking, folks. Thank you, Boston. Alright, maybe I should have fast forwarded until the song started, but this is fun. I feel like I'm there. This song is called Dial Drunk. You take this away. Okay, we're going to hit pause for the first time here. I don't know what is happening with Post Malone, 
Uh, but he's doing the, I guess, the Jelly Roll thing where he's been doing rap and he's a rock star and now he's a uh, country, western, folk, indie pop mega star. But um, I, I kind of dig it. Um, if you had told me 10 years ago that I'd be into banjo music, I would have made a deliverance joke um, and not a friendly one. But uh, so far, this is, this is fun. This is enjoyable. It's uh, guys on stage having a good time. The song is catchy. Um, full disclosure, I grew up in New England, uh, on the border of New Hampshire and Massachusetts. Uh, so this is a sound I'm very, very familiar with. It's that, uh, Vermonty, uh, Berkshires, Berkshires. Yeah, I didn't grow that close, but anyway, it's that Vermont folk sound. And it's funny because everybody I knew growing up had a, a banjo in their house somewhere, but nobody knew how to play it. Um, it was like a piece of furniture. But apparently somebody knows how to play. So I'm digging this so far. It's a, it's a song or a sound I'm familiar with. Um, and I did uh, Olivia Rodrigo doing a Noah Khan song uh, a, maybe a week or two ago. You can check it out right up there if you're interested. Uh, and that kind of threw me down the Noah Khan rabbit hole. So, so far I'm digging this. It's, uh, it's a sound I'm familiar with growing up. And I live in Tennessee now. And it's, uh, you know, banjos and acoustic guitars are not strangers to these parts. Uh, parts of the world so so far so good I like that line. Oh, that's fun. Make some fucking noise, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I figured that last few seconds there is just some clapping and cheering and whatnot before the little subscribe thing pops up on their screen. Like, it's gonna pop up eventually on mine, so you might as well just go ahead and beat me to it. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit those thumbs up for me. Tell me what you like, what you don't like about uh, the song. Don't talk about... Oh, you can you can talk about me. I don't really care. Go ahead, have at it. Have fun with that, too. Uh, or tell me other songs from either Post Malone or... Oh, sorry. Post Malone. I guess it's both Post Malones. Uh, or Noah Khan, who is over there off stage now. But, um... This is weird to me uh, for the reason that I grew up with this sound all around me as a kid. Um, like I said, I grew up in the epicenter of kind of indie folk pop. Um, and it always impressed me how the music sounds uplifting. Like the, the music itself sounds happy. Like it's all upstrokes and, you know, banjo picking and high notes and fun music. And it's a party kind of music vibe. But then you listen to the lyrics, and it's not exactly an entire party, uh, unless it's a pity party. 
sometimes the lyrics get a little dark, and that is what I think I like about this. Um, I'm a fan of party music. I'm a fan of dark music. So put these two together, and it works nicely for me. Uh, I'm not going to go on this huge explanation of the lyrics or anything. There's a thousand people doing this, uh, tell, breaking down the lyrics for you. It's rather self-explanatory, um, and it, but it's got everything. It's got heartbreak. It's got drinking. It's got blood alcohol. We're just going to call that blood um, so we can still be metal. Uh, we're going to... What else does it have in there? It's got uh, um, jail cells. I mean, it's got, this has everything you could possibly need for country, rock, folk, maybe hip hop. It, it's the, lyrically, it's covering all the bases. I dig it. It works for me. Um, overall, I like this, this song. Um, I have, since playing the Olivia Rodrigo cover of uh, one of his other songs that I did, I've kind of dipped my toes in a little bit to the, uh, the Noah Khan rabbit hole of folk pop, if you will. And um, I think I'm jumping in uh, with both feet. I'm digging this. Uh, it's a throwback to music I listen to. Th or my, I should say music my friends' moms listened to like 30 years ago or all the cool hippie hot chicks uh, in my school might have listened to. Um, but that was a billion years ago. And I've been... Uh, tuned off to anything that isn't rock or metal if it doesn't have you know the double kick drum and some screaming you can't understand it's not what i've been listening to but i dig this uh this is a throwback i'm feeling sentimental and i like it i already told you to hit that like button i already told you to subscribe if you do go ahead and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more of these reactions that rock and until we see each other again ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages except for you tony you know what you did Nah, I'm just kidding. I just, I'm hoping somebody, Tony, in the comments is like, what the hell did I do? You know what I'm saying. Rock and roll.